ぜこんなことに君が僕に見せてくれた世界はとても綺麗だったな So, the winter anime season is coming to a close, and we have the spring 2024 season right around the corner with some big hits coming up like Kaiju No. u m b e 8 and also My Hero Academia. Gotta catch up on some things from the winter season just in case you missed it. Keep in mind in the last video, we already talked about f r e r e and Apothecary Diaries and also Undead Unluck, so we won't be talking about those in this video. And also keep in mind that these are all going to be a first season anime, so there won't be any sequels on this list. But hey, if this is something you might be interested in, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell, do all those nice things. We're gonna Catch you up on all the animes that you might have missed. So, hey, make sure to stay tuned and hey, let's go ahead and hop straight into this video. So, when we start this list, the first one is going to be, of course, solo leveling or also known as only I level up. <laughs> 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 And this one is from the fantasy drama. It's one of the biggest Korean webtoons. You've heard of stories where the parties go on raids and defeat the dungeon boss, but this story is a little different. Dungeon portals open in the world, and there's a time limit to close these dungeons. If you don't close them, then all the creatures that's inside the dungeon will come into the real world. And dungeon raiding is a business ran by corporations. This story follows Sung Jin Ru, the weakest hunter in the world. After an innocent and near death experience, Sung Jin Ru has a mysterious thing happen, and he gets stronger by leveling himself. Up, but keeping it a secret while also trying to make money to provide for his family. This show has some nice action. The main character is also willing to go as far as he needs to to reach his goal. There's a lot of gore, interesting creatures, and hey, this is definitely your fantasy fix if you're needing something with a little bit of a darker take on the fantasy genre. As long as I'm alive, I'll fight with all I have. If it makes me stronger, I'll follow this rule no matter how ridiculous it is. The next one is going to be Delicious in Dungeon. This is another fantasy anime, and this one goes after a raid gone wrong, the main character Lyos loses his sister to the red dragon of the dungeon, but she is still alive, or maybe she isn't. Lyos makes the choice to return to the dungeon with a new party to save his sister Sinchi, Marcel, and also Chilchuk. As the title says, this focuses on different foods you can make in the dungeon from the monsters. Yeah, I know, sounds pretty tasty. And also, some interesting creatures, some nice animation, smooth action, and some of the meals that would actually make you want to eat a monster. But check it out if you're needing a fantasy fix and also, you know, want to see some interesting foods. This one definitely gave me a feel of also a restaurant to another world. And also, this show was actually being released on Netflix, so you get dubbed episodes weekly and it will be continuing for a second core into the spring season. The next one is going to be a sign of affection, our romance of the season. And this one is basically like silent voice but without the sadness. And the story follows college student Yuki. She has dealt with being deaf her whole life and makes it through life with sign language. After a few encounters, she falls in love with Itsomi, a mysterious guy who, you know, kind of goes overseas and out of the country a lot. Definitely a red flag, but they're a perfect match, as this story would say. It focuses on other characters' relationships, kind of reminds me a little bit of Hori Mia. It has unique character designs, and it's pretty nice to have an adult atmosphere compared to the typical childhood romances where you see them in high school or middle school. This one is actually set with them in college, and if you're looking for an adult romance, I definitely recommend you check this one out. The next one is going to be Ninja Kamui, one of our actions of this season. Huh? And this one's actually based on an actual manga, but they made some different changes. It was also, you know, still called Kanwi, but it was a little bit different. And this one has a little bit more of an American touch, and it has a Korean producer. And this one follows Joe Higon, former ninja who abandoned his creed to live a happy life. After leaving, some tragic things happen, you know, that motivate him to want revenge on his former organization. We won't spoil that. The story is pretty simple, as you can see from the synopsis, but the animation is amazing. This show starts off just giving you amazing animation, and it actually kind of makes me think of what Under Ninja should have been last season. Like I said, this one has a strong American touch because it actually is streaming on Adult Swim, but that also means that you get a dub every week, and it has some provocative jokes, and like I said, Adult Swim energy. And like I said, if you're looking for something that has some crazy action, some ninja fights, some blood, gore, and you know, some interesting character designs, I definitely recommend you give Ninja Kamui a try. <laughs> and 
the last one on our list is going to be Buchi Giri. Tomoshibi Arajin desu. Yoroshiku de. Huh? Maji? This one is actually a little bit of a strange one that we've thrown on here, and it's a Mappa original. So this is coming from the same animation studio that gave you Attack on Titan the final, called The Night, Jujutsu Kaisen, Hell's Paradise, and many more heavy hits. And this one, if you've ever seen Urasai Yatsura or Tokyo Revengers, think about putting those together. Delinquent animes are still trending and still on the rise, so there's no surprise that this one actually came out. But this one actually takes more of a comedic approach. It follows Arajin reuniting with his childhood friend, Matakara, at a new high school that is in the split between a gang war and also a supernatural battle that is lurking in the background. Arajin wants to lose his virginity to the beautiful Mahiro-chan, but the process gets caught in between both of these wars. Great character designs, nice action sequences, and this one has some funny moments. It's not too serious delinquent anime, but this anime original definitely hits better than the other one we have this season. <coughs> But if you're missing Tokyo Avengers and need something funny, I definitely recommend you check this one out. And the intro is a bank. Those are going to be all the ones that we're hitting from this season. Like I said, we tried to keep this list a little bit more tight to give you the cream of the crop. We're not really going to be recommending just anything to you anymore. But hey, let me know if there's anything that you think that I missed from this list. Like I said, this wasn't sequel, so of course we're not going to have things like Classroom and Elite and stuff like that. But hey, if y'all are looking forward to more videos like this, let me know what y'all want to see. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about these recommendations. And if you actually watched them, let me know if they were good. Or like I said, if you're not taking any more recommendations from me. But hey, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'm gonna see you on the next one next season. Yeah.